You know, I always say that timing is everything. I was getting ready to sit down and record our post-game thoughts from the game that we all watched last night, the playoff game between the Bengals and the Ravens, of course, the, with the Bengals winning. Um, but then, as I was getting ready to record, my wife said, hey, did you see what Lamar Jackson just posted? And I was like, no, I didn't see it. And she showed it to me. I said, ooh, okay. I said, post-game thoughts is going to wait just a little bit. Uh, so, Lamar Jackson on his Instagram story, he posted, the, he reposted the following. Because he didn't write it, he reposted this. It says, when you have something good, you don't play with it. You don't take chances losing it. You don't neglect it. When you have something good, you pour into it. You appreciate it. Because when you take care of something good, that good thing takes care of you. So... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, th this may not even be about the Baltimore Ravens. This could be about a friend that Lamar Jackson has. This could be about his girl, him just showing appreciation for it. This could be about a family member or something, somebody that he's super cl close with or super cool with that he just got a lot of love for. Maybe that could be it. Or with the timing of, I don't know, maybe he was just scrolling on Instagram this morning and, you know, when you see a good quote, you're like, man, I like that. You know, I, I want to share with all my followers that I like that. Maybe that could give somebody else something positive to think about today. Maybe. Or just maybe with the timing of it, I don't know. Maybe it is a message to the Baltimore Ravens. I don't know. Or maybe it's just Lamar Jackson thinking out loud. I just, I, I, I really can't say. But it's interesting nonetheless. Um, Lamar Jackson, as I always say, he's very smart. Uh, he know <laughs> he knows everything that he does is being watched heavily, heavily is being analyzed and criticized and all that good stuff heavily, especially with the timing of everything. Raven season is over. Um, Lamar Jackson, he said uh, before the season started, when him and Ravens were in negotiations, they were talking went back and forth. Da -da -da -da. But he said, hey, once week one rolls around. No more negotiating. I'm focusing on football. Week one rolled around, and that was it. That was a wrap. Uh, but he did say, after the season, we could talk then. After the season, we, we'll negotiate then. But during the season, there will be nothing, no negotiations whatsoever. And, I mean, apparently there were none. Hadn't heard about anything. Um, so now the season is done, and you see a message like that. It's like, ooh. I don't know, um, but to me, it seems like it could be a message uh, to the Baltimore Ravens um, because, I mean, you see it like it's, it's what we've been talking about uh, for so long um, on here. It's what a lot of y'all have brought up, different points that y'all have brought up, different points that we brought up, different things that you see like. And let's just read it one more time. When you have something good, well, yeah, yeah you got something very good. Uh, you don't play with it. And you don't take chances losing it. You don't neglect it. When you have something good, you pour into it. You appreciate it because when you take care of something good, the good things take care of you too. And it's just so much to take from that. Um, the Ravens, when they truly, truly found out that they had something good, it was 2019. 2019. It started in 2018. Like, it, it, there was some very special moments in 20. I, actually, yeah, it started in 2018. That's where it began, but when they truly found out, like, oh, man, this guy, like, he, he's really special. Because in 2018, it was extremely restricted, the offense for Lamar. It was extremely restricted. Um, it was very, like, like, you think it's run heavy now? Like, back then, it was, like, 98% like runs and 1% throws, and the other 1% was maybe punts or something, or maybe taking the knees, but it, like, it was run, run heavy back then. Um, so it was super limited. But in, in 2019, they had a whole offseason to really uh, do some things, really game plan this thing, and really take the league by storm, and that's exactly what they did. Uh, so 2019 was just really, it was amazing, as we all remember. Um, playoffs, not so much, but the regular season was, and that was when you truly got to see like why we have somebody, we have something that is so special. We have a player that is so special. 
So like I always say, I don't even say, I mean, it has been five years, but Ravens didn't technically waste five years with Lamar Jackson. They wasted three. They wasted three. Um, they wasted 2020, 2021, and 2022. Uh, the best that they did, <coughs> excuse me, the best that they did was in 2021, in my opinion. That was the best offensive roster that they put together uh, for one Lamar Jackson. Um, overall, well, offensive-wise, obviously, well, defense too, but certainly offensive-wise, that was the best one. But then even with that, it was like, man, um, the, the Sammy Watkins signing, and we, you can go back to the video. We talked about this back then, too. I was like, all right, if you're going to sign Sammy Watkins, cool. That can't be it, though. That, that, that cannot be it. You can't put all your eggs into the Sammy Watkins basket because he let us. We know already, like, we knew. And, I mean, the same person who said Lamar needed to just get out there and play. Oh, Sammy Watkins has a long injury history. He had a long injury history. And if somebody shows you who they are, then don't be surprised when they are who they are. Sammy Watkins, the Ravens signed Sammy Watkins, a one-year, $6 million deal with five mil guaranteed. I'm like, all right, cool, a little small deal, no problem. Um, and he got hurt. He got hurt, and he got hurt, and he was hurt, and he was hurt, and he was hurt. He did make some plays now. He did certainly make some plays. But majority, he was hurt. Even when he came back, you could tell he was still hurt. He was not like, uh -uh. he wasn't himself. Um, but that was it. And then they, dra they drafted Rashad Bateman, which was great. They still had Hollywood, which was nice. But I just felt like they should have done just a bit more. Um, but that was the best that they did uh, for Lamar Jackson in his career. And 2020, what was it? Willie Sneed. Thing that there's Brian at one point. Um, over the years, it's been what, Seth Roberts, Miles Boykin, uh, James Prochet, Devin Duvernay. Um, who else we had? Uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. I know I am. Um, but it just, it, it, it's been, I mean, this year, Demarcus Robinson brought back Sammy Watkins again. Um, <coughs> Andy, well, he didn't really get to play with Andy Isabella, uh, but they did sign Andy Isabella for a little bit. But uh, who else? Um, yeah, it's just it's it's been rough. <laughs> it's been really rough. But he just they they haven't the bar where it talks about pouring into something that you uh, that you appreciate. Like they didn't pour into Lamar Jackson like they should have. They really didn't. Because, again, in 2020, 2021, and 2022, that's when they really should have been like, oh, yeah, okay, this dude, he, like, he literally just won a unanimous MVP. And I know there's a lot of people that just don't like continuing to hear about that because that was in 2019, which I can understand. But that was when Ravens should have really realized, oh, this dude, he just won a una unanimous, unanimous. That means everybody who voted, they were like, it is for sure Lamar Jackson. It's him. He's the MVP. He's the most valuable player in the NFL this year. Because he certainly was. He certainly was. 36 touchdowns, only six interceptions, uh, over 1,000 rushing yards too. Like, this literally was, he was literally doing everything. He was doing everything. And then it like, it makes you like really appreciate it that much more because you see what he was doing it with, especially when we look back. We're like, man, he did that with that? Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's something. That's like real deal right there. So if he did that with them, why not upgrade them? Ravens didn't really do that. They say, you know what? You did all that with that? Okay. So if you could do all that with just that, then we ain't got to go crazy for nothing. You you go you gonna keep doing all that with that. We'll do some little changes here and there, but we ain't getting nothing crazy. We'll try for some guys, but you know we ain't, we ain't doing nothing crazy there. They didn't pour into him. They didn't pour into him. They did not truly invest in Lamar Jackson. And again, Ravens. 
I, I said this before I said it a long time ago And I'm keep saying it Ravens never fully believed in Lamar Jackson And they showed that They showed that See people Whenever people say Oh Ravens they don't, They're the only team that took a chance on Lamar Jackson In a draft He would have been drafted by somebody else he would have he would have certainly been drafted by somebody else, but they they didn't. And again, it seems like they just they were like, "All right, we'll try this Lamar Jackson thing out, and we'll see." But we're not really expecting much. That's what it seems like happened because they tried it out. First year they had him doing all the the, the sort of gimmicky plays and whatnot. Second year that's when they did the offense and they took off, and then they just they never evolved past that enough. There was never enough growth. They just remain, the offense remains stagnant. It's like, all right, and, and I know 2019 is, is so hard to compare other offenses to that because, like, that was the cream of the crop. They, they broke all these rushing records and whatnot. They went crazy with it, scored all these points. They were going wild, man. Um, so I know when comparing stuff to 2019, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course you're going to fall lower than that. But still, like, they just, the offense did not grow enough. <clears throat> it really did not grow enough. And with the offense not growing enough, there being such a lack of investment put into the offense, such a lack of investment put into your quarterback, Lamar Jackson, he can't grow enough. And that's what we always say, too. Lamar, if he stays with the Baltimore Ravens, I would love it. But then at the same time, if they continue to do what they've been doing and operating how they've been operating, he will never reach his full potential. He won't. He'll never reach his full potential with this team if they could keep on doing the same things that they've been doing. He will never reach it. And that's sad because it's like, man, that's Lamar Jackson. Like, this dude is something special. So we want him to reach his full potential. But if they keep doing the same old, same old, he just won't. He won't. Because they don't invest into the offense like that. I know we hear, oh, Ravens, they, they drafted the most wide receivers uh, the over, over the past, I think, five years or something like that. They have, technically. Technically, they have. You can't deny that. But what have they poured into those wide receivers? The scheme, as we all know, does not benefit the wide receivers. And get this, this is not a Greg Roman thing. This is not a Greg Roman thing. Because do you mean to tell me it, this whole receiver thing's been happening just ever since Lamar's been here or just ever since Greg Roman has been here? No. The receiver thing has been an issue for the longest, for the longest. That's been a problem. It's not anything new. Lamar didn't bring this receiver issue here. Greg Roman didn't bring this receiver issue here. But they continue to have the same issues that they had before Greg Roman, that they had before Lamar Jackson at the receiver position. It hasn't changed. So... What's really the root problem? What's the real issue? It's important that that gets figured out. I mean, we already know what it is, but it's not even that it has to get figured out, but will it be addressed? I don't think so, but we'll see. So that's, that's what, what the whole Instagram thing could be about. That, that's part of it, what it could be about, but also money, the money. We talked about the investment into Lamar as the Ravens quarterback, which there's been a lack of. There's been a lack of with personnel. There's been a lack of coaching investment. There's just been a lack there in that part, him as a quarterback. But then on the financial side, that's where it gets just as ugly because and apparently they Ravens tried. They tried. I, I forgot what, what was the, the, the guaranteed money that apparently that they offered. Was it 130, 160? I forgot what it was. But Lamar said no mm -mm. Nope No 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 Well he obviously said no because they didn't agree to a deal So whatever it was he said No N O the Apparently And I don't know what's true Because we haven't heard it directly from Lamar But apparently like He's saying oh he wants all that guaranteed money Or a lot of guaranteed money uh, the reports have been that he he wants around there with Deshaun Watson, that type of guaranteed money. And I can't blame him at all. I mean, actually, all, all football players, their contracts should be guaranteed. 
Because it is the most violent sport out there And it's not even close um, So that that's a whole other subject though But for Lamar Jackson specifically Him wanting a lot of guaranteed money Some people are for it Some people are not for it And whatever your opinion is, that's fine uh, But I, like, I can't blame him For everything that he is asked to do on this team In this offense Why not? Why not try to get all the guaranteed money that you can possibly get? You're asked to be the leading passer. Obviously, you're the quarterback. You're also asked to be the leading rusher. You're the quarterback. You're asked to be the leading rusher every single year. Every single year. You are asked to, all right, hey, we need you to throw the ball. Throw the ball. Get it to these receivers who are not the best quality, but, hey, you, need to, you, you better go out there and make it happen. Hey, our running game, you, go take off. No, Hey, you know, it's on you. Go get that first down. Go get them chunky yards. Go get them rushing yards. Go get them. It's on you. Go get it. I'm asking for guaranteed money too. You asking me to do all that every year? <laughs> yeah. All right, it's time for my raise. Yeah. I want it guaranteed. I want all that bread, man. Get, give it to me, please, and thank you. So, can't be mad at that. Well, I don't. I know some of y'all are like Lamar. Don't you don't deserve all that guaranteed money, buddy. So, but yeah, it's it's gonna be a fight, man. It's gonna be a fight. And like I said, with with the Ravens, it's gonna be a fight with them and Lamar Jackson. I mean, it's negotiation, so it's back and forth. But with Ravens, oh, we talked about it before too. They're gonna use which they should use because they're business. They're gonna say, hey, you missed. The end of this season What was it Six seven games I forgot how many games It was this season That he missed um, No maybe it was like Five six But anyway They'd be like You missed The end of this season In 2022 And then last year You missed the last Like six games Of last season too So they're gonna be like Why, why should we get you All that bread For what So you can miss The, the end of next season too why, why Why should we give you All of that Lamar They're gonna use it And, and hey It's business that's business, that negotiation, you got to try to find the weak spots in your opponent. Because they're opponents. We're negotiating, y'all are opponents. Because y'all trying to one-up each other. They're going to be like, look, Lamar, look at this, this, that. And Lamar going to be like, hey, look at this, this, and that. They're they going to be going back and forth with that because that's what negotiations do. That's what you do. But it's going to be um, interesting to see how this thing turns out. <clears throat> and something else that we've continued to say, too. Uh, the only re the only time there will be a resolution, the only resolution that there can be is if Lamar signs a long term deal with the Ravens or uh, he gets traded somewhere. Franchise tag is not a resolution. That's the beginning, but um, will that be will that be the beginning of the end or the beginning of the beginning, the beginning of a new beginning? We'll see, man. We'll see. Um, but yeah, time is ticking now. Now, um. <clears throat> The decisions have to be made. I know uh, the deadline for the franchise tag is coming up. I need, I know they got to apply it before free agency starts. Free agency don't start till March, so they got like two months. So it's going to be an interesting two months, man. But we will be there every step of the way to keep you all updated. Uh, but I love you all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate you all. And like Lamar Jackson could be, might be, we'll see, maybe. I think so. We out.